<laughs> New London folk used to getting up this early. <laughs> yeah, I get quite an early train to London, so it's not that unusual. Ghastly hour of day. <laughs> I've got Adam here today from Berry Brothers and Rudd. He's going to be my other pair of eyes this morning. We're out looking for a few bunny rabbits. He's bought some hopefully fantastic wines to go with the grub I'm going to be cooking up. Yep, you can't have good food without good wine. Yeah, yeah. Food and wine belong together. There are very good reasons why a particular style of wine exists in a region and it will likely be to match the local food. There were three or four down just the yeah. other side of these um, crops here. Saw them running away. Yeah, yeah little tails. Rabbits are classed as vermin in the UK, which means that as uh, any landowner has responsibility to control these numbers. We're not just finding something to eat, we're actually doing a good deed today. Yeah, yeah. After 20 minutes or so driving around, one just kind of popped out of nowhere as they do and it presented very, very nicely. There was a nice bit of bank behind it. Took the shot, nice and clean, let the dog out the back. He scurried down, picked it up nicely, brought it back to us. We've got one for the pot, but I don't think that little bunny is going to stretch over both of us. So let's go and have a bit nose and find some water. Rabbits are fantastic meat to cook with. It's lean and healthy, and it's high in protein, it's low in fat, and it's pretty easy to cook once you get the hang of it. We've had a Successful morning on the rabbits. We've bagged a couple of nice bunnies for the pot, a couple more for later, and we're going to turn these rabbits in our fantastic outdoor field kitchen, all of Exmoor behind us, into a Ligurian rabbit dish, which is lots of olives, some potatoes, plenty of olive oil, really sweet, melting, slow cooked dish. It's a, a complete one pot dish. Rabbit, olives, potatoes, a little bit of herbs and some lemon for acidity, olive oil, and some fragrance, seasoning in the pot, put it down, forget about it for a few hours. It is lean, it's full of flavour, it's a great introduction for people that haven't eaten game before. So this Ligurian rabbit dish, it's all here in the pot, ready to go, goes on the fire, two hours later it's going to be cooked up, ready to go. In the meantime, I'm going to sit admire this incredible view and wait for these fantastic wines Adam's going to tell us all about. I've used a bit of poetic license and I've got a white and a red here because I think actually this dish could potentially match with either white or red. The white wine is from Piedmont. What I like about this wine for this dish is that you've got a real sort of piercing freshness to it, this kind of lemon freshness. You can almost think of it as squeezing a bit of fresh lemon onto your food. This red, we've got that sort of characteristically high acidity that you get with Italian red wines. And that's very much a case of having evolved with the food because they use a lot of tomatoes in their food. Tomatoes are high in acidity. In this case, I think it's gonna balance that oily richness of the dish quite nicely. I urge you to make this dish, please. Whether you shoot your rabbits yourself, whether you go to your butcher and order them, it's all in the good name of upping the ante with our game consumption in the UK. Make this dish, try this wine with it, and you'll be a very, very happy person indeed. Here's to it. Chin chin. Mmm.